guys, Zist here, and today I'm going to be doing my 200 subscriber Q&A. First off, I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I know we hit it a couple days ago, but I still want to thank you for hitting that. It's a big number. It's just a big accomplishment for me. It's just a, shows how much I've been growing, how good I've been doing on my channel, and you guys seem to like what I've been putting out. So yeah, thank you for all the support you guys have been recently giving me, and let's get right into it. First question we got is from Nas D-Pad. He asked me, who is your favorite YouTuber and why? So my favorite YouTuber at the moment would probably be um, who I enjoy watching is probably uh, FaZe Rain and Haz. Haz just because he's hilarious. And Rain I just watch because I think he's pretty funny and he also does give off a lot of good points that I think are really funny. And so he kind of, his motto is just everything he stands for kind of like just gets to me. It was just like, he's kind of like an inspiration. And uh... I kind of just structure my videos kind of like his, more or less, and try to make it a little bit more funnier, but then again, I don't hit trick shots as much as he does, but... Oh well. Next question we got is from Bryza OG. He says, can you say Zist backwards? Zist. <laughs> Nailed it. The next question we got is coming in from Classified. He wants to know, how good are you on a COD at scale of 1 to 10? Negative 4. 1, 2, 3, troll you asked, boobies or booty? Definitely booty. Honestly, yeah, booty, but I mean, I'd take both, but like, if I had to choose between one, it would definitely be booty, for sure. Oh, Vocal says, best shot hit on any COD. My best shot I hit on any COD would be probably this one. Oh, God. You hit? So yeah, I hit the shot a couple weeks ago, and yeah, I think it's my best shot on Black Ops 2, just because I wallbanged the guy standing at the bottom of A, and it was crazy, because nobody was at last, it was on free for all, which is crazy. I'm actually having that whole gameplay edited, so I'm going to make a video out of that whole gameplay, and it's going to be edited by my boy BCE, and it's going to be a very great edit. He's an awesome editor. I hope you guys enjoy that, because it's coming out in the next couple days or so if he finishes with that, so you'll get to see the whole gameplay and that nice shot. It's going to be awesome. Nas Chris asks, do you know no one likes you? No. Nitra OG asks, how did you get into sniping slash trickshotting? Well, I started, I've always been sniping. Sniping has been the go-to gun for me. I started back in Call of Duty, like, 3, where you had that little bridge and people would sit on top of the house and scope over from the other side of the bridge and get people coming through the bridge on the bottom and at the top. And so I would always do that. And that's what was always sniping for me. So I kept sniping. I did sniping in Modern Warfare 2, did the 360s when it was the thing. And then I actually started getting into trick shotting and sniping in Black Ops 2. That's when I got serious about it. That's when I started going for clips and going for trick shots and stuff that I actually knew what I was doing. It was crazy. That's when I started actually doing stuff that I knew what I looked like I was doing. But before it was just all child's play and I kind of messed around with it trying to be cool like phase back when they first like started. I was watching like ill cams like 2. And so that's, that's what I tried to be like always but I never really understood standards until Black Ops 2. Angel underscore XV asked, if you had one million dollars, what would you spend on? One, I would spend it on a porn subscription. Two, I would probably buy a penguin. Ooh, and then I would buy triple monitors because I want triple monitors. That's like my thing. And I would definitely pay somebody to kill every spider in the whole entire world. And then I might get a muzzle for my cat because she pisses me off. Oh, wow. She's actually in the back of this video just chilling. What are you doing, cat? Go away. It's Barza asks, who are your biggest inspirations? Honestly, People that inspired me were, the, when I first started watching YouTube, I watched Niga Higa, and he was hilarious. I used to watch his, I remember the first video I ever watched was him and the Saw video where the little microphone came down and he was like, do you want to play a game? And that's when I first started getting into YouTube. I would, I made YouTube videos back in 2007, uh, when I would just make like challenges, like the cinnamon challenge with my sister. Uh, none of y'all will be able to find those videos because it's the channel's private, but then I started making gaming videos, and I got more serious about it once Black Ops 2 came out, but my inspirations probably would be FaZe Rain and Niga Higa for just making YouTube videos, and I just strive to be good just for myself and just to prove everybody else wrong, so I kind of just take from other people and use it to better myself, but I'm not really, like, I look up to some people, but not really just to the fact, like, I just want to be just like these people. I just do it just because I enjoy doing this now, and I want to prove everybody that said I can't do this wrong, and try to make something out of it, so, yeah. TKB Light says, favorite movie. My favorite movie would definitely have to be Project X and The Wolf of Wall Street. Those movies are absolutely hilarious. Project X was just a big party movie. I really want to go to one, because it just looked awesome and I want to do it so bad but you know no one's ever going to throw a party like that because it's not end well for them 
And The Wolf of Wall Street was just absolutely hilarious, and it was just, you know, if you're gonna take anything out of that movie, just do the opposite of everything they did in that movie. Next question is Nas Refrax says, Do you love Refrax? No. Just kidding, I love you. It's Achilles says, Okay, what should I ask? A question would be nice. TKB Light says, Are you excited for Call of Duty Black Ops 3? Well, a lot of people have been talking about it, obviously. It's been blowing up your feeds. I haven't personally made a video on it, but I'm just going to, since he asked the question, um, I am excited for it. I honestly think it's going to be a great game. People are all concerned about EXO movements, but honestly, I don't think anybody can really make any judgments on it, because first off, the game's not even out yet. Second off, all we're watching is trailers, and if you think about it, Black Ops 2 got, like, I think it got, like, a ton of dislikes on it when it first came out. And Black Ops 3 trailer also did get a ton of dislikes, but everybody's going to dislike because they don't know what the game is and it's not what they're expecting, but obviously it's not what you're expecting because it's just a freaking preview. People are so closed-minded and arrogant on everything when you look at it. They're so, they just can't see past the fact that they can't give it a chance. They just go straight to criticizing, nitpicking at every little thing they've already done, and they haven't even seen the game. So, in my opinion, I feel like it's going to be a good game, and I'm hoping that it's something that we can all move on past because Ghost didn't work out, Advanced Warfare didn't work out, and I sure as hell don't want to wait again for another COD because this is just ridiculous because... Honestly, if if this Call of Duty doesn't work out, I don't know what I'm going to do, because this is just going to be terrible. I'm probably going to play the game anyway, but I feel like it's going to be a good game. Vondrahar, you bald-headed fuck. Come on, you know you can come through for us, buddy. I got faith in you. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the Q&A up here. If you guys enjoyed this video at all, please be sure to leave a like. And I just want to thank you guys one more time for 200 subscribers and how thankful I am for that. Let's go try and shoot for 20 likes on this Q&A. I know you guys really liked my last one, so yeah, let's see if we can get 20 likes. That would be really awesome, and I would really appreciate that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I'm Zist. I'll see you later. Peace out.